Look, I don't tag along with tanks, I don't jump from helicopters, and I don't ride Wookiees. Because of this, I don't need a mountain carabiner hanging off my belt in order to attach my gloves. Neither do you. What's up everybody, Benoit here. Welcome to Tactical Fellowship. It's gonna be a quick one, short one, a little one because the product I'm talking about is very, very little. It is the Warrior Poet Belt Lanyard. Now, full disclosure, I work for Warrior Poet Society, but I bought this thing on my own because I was sick of having a big red carabiner hanging off my front in order to hold my little gloves. Look, you need gloves, you use gloves, put them on your belt, don't be the guy that doesn't have them on his belt and then doesn't have gloves when he needs to tear down targets and move icky things with lead and doesn't want his hands to touch them. Or his guns are super red hot and doesn't want to touch the barrel of a shotgun. Now you can do that with your glove, but you didn't have the lanyard so you didn't bring your gloves so you got burned hands and now you feel dumb. Two taco pet! If you have a cousin that's into Milsim, you're gonna buy one of these as a Christmas gift or a birthday gift for them. But let's talk about how to carry these valuable gloves and let's look at it right now. On my belt, I have the Warrior Poet Society belt lanyard. It's pretty cool. It wraps around or threads through your molly so that you can hang this wherever you want. It's got a little hooky hook, boop, boop, boop and that's what you put your gloves on. What I like about this belt lanyard is that it lays flat, it's discreet, and it doesn't bump out in a way that a rigid carabiner would. I am just flat range LARPing. I am not riding on tanks. I don't need anything like that. Well then why'd you buy the Ronin belt? Well, cause the Ronin belt's awesome. But for the day in and day out, when I'm working, uh, recording videos with John and the gang, Having this right here is really nice. There are some limitations to this and I'm gonna go over that in a second. As always, go ahead and stick your thumb up YouTube's anti-gun loving hole by liking and subscribing. And why not follow me on Rumble? One of the things I wasn't so excited about was that it was bigger than it needed to be. And so it hung down and was a little bit looser and wobbly on my belt. I wanted it really nice and tight on there and so all I did is I threaded it through my molly and then I just wrapped it underneath and then I put a ranger band around it to take up any slack and make it more rigid when you're looking to one-handed style kind of just push this and get gloves on because if it's loose you can see how if it had a lot of play like hanging down another inch it's just wobbling everywhere and I didn't need that so that's one adjustment I made for this these retail I think for about 16 bucks on the Warrior Poet Society website and I should have bought two while I was at it I think that moving to something just small and discreet like this is really all I need so small discreet very usable. These are reasons why you should get this belt lanyard. If you don't want things that are discreet and small, then don't get this. But if you do, go ahead and get it and use the little hack that I got to shorten it up and tighten it up so it feels nice and stiff and rigid in front. Well, that sounded kind of weird, but you know what I meant. Well, my homeboys and homegirls, that's all I got for you. May you be blessed. May you be rich in spirit. May you be kind to your fellow man, but not ambivalent towards foolishness when you see it. Speak up, even when it costs you. Guys, as always, ride fast, shoot straight, and we'll see you next time.